Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's September 10th, uh, Tuesday morning. Grain markets overnight were quiet. We had narrow trading ranges in both corn and wheat. Soybeans a bit more volatile. They were under pressure uh, somewhat, uh, 8 to 10 lower uh, at the higher end of that range uh, as we speak. But uh, uh, more rain in the forecast uh, and hopes that... uh, that will help the uh, the soybeans. However, talking to producers, some are very concerned about the uh, the help of of this rain if it's going to add a lot of bushels or not. Uh, that's the big question. I think the USDA has to answer uh, coming into this uh, September 12th crop report that will be out on Thursday morning at 11 o'clock. Uh, we uh, isolated some of the the issues uh, in yesterday's uh, Allendale weekly broker meeting that you actually can uh, listen to if you uh, go to our website. Just uh, follow the links and you should be able to uh, to listen to it. But uh, the, one, a couple of the big concerns are, one is in the old crop soybeans. Uh, total exports thus far with two days remaining in the uh, marketing year at the end of August, uh, the data we've got show that we've exported uh, about 15 million bushel more than what the USDA was expecting. And then on top of that, there is uh, historically uh, soybean donations throughout the year of anywhere from 13 to 40 million bushel uh, that uh, the USDA gives away. So if you add those together and subtract that from this 125 uh, ending stocks, it gets to be pretty uh, pretty small crop. However, the USDA does have a get-out-of-jail-free card. What they may change on this report is the uh, imports of soybeans, and they also have the uh, residual line on the uh, the balance sheet that they can take some uh, numbers from that and uh, compensate for the uh, for the tight ending stocks, still keeping that ending stocks number uh, around that 120 million bushel. In the new crop, uh, the uh, USDA uh, historically uh, does not change uh, yield all that much on the September report. They haven't done any uh, actual surveys because this survey is. Uh, and the estimates are made as of September 1st. So you don't get the uh, the full uh, uh, yield from the soybeans that, uh, that you do on later reports. So, uh, there, However, there is a s- similar year of 2003 that we've been watching when they did uh, lower the uh, expectations that continued to lower the soybean yields into uh, the January report. So... Uh, we're going to be watching that very closely. Uh, trade estimates right now are 41.4 uh, bushel an acre for soybean yields. Uh, the uh, Allendale number and what producers have told us, they're looking at more of a 39 bushel an acre yield. It's likely that uh, uh, if the USDA would lower it that much, it would be unlikely. Uh, but the uh, the expectations are here for... Uh, smaller yields as we go into the uh, latter part of the uh, the growing season and into the end and middle of the marketing year. The uh, corn basis has uh, fallen apart, basically, is the best way to describe it. Uh, Decatur took 40, 50 cents off of their basis here since Friday. Uh, Blair, Nebraska went from a uh, dollar ten premium the December contract Friday to a five cent minus. Uh, yesterday, so uh, there is some corn moving. Processors have got enough corn uh, around them right now, and they're uh, uh, they're playing the game of uh, can they scare out some more corn? Is what uh, uh, producers have told us. They think it's a, a game at this point, but uh, the uh, processors certainly have the upper hand as harvest is beginning to uh, roll in a much bigger way through uh, Central Illinois, Indiana. Uh, Missouri and uh, further south. So uh, we get continue to get yield reports from those areas. Uh, some are good. Uh, the good quality land is uh, surprising uh, people. However, the uh, the marginal land yields are not quite as good as they expected. Other news: uh, 
uh, Australia's uh, government uh, agricultural agency uh, put out their wheat uh, production estimates for this year. They reduced production by 3 percent uh, from the last report that they had due to the dry weather in, in that uh, region. Uh, China also has uh, some of the major feed uh, and producers in China have switched from corn to sorghum. Uh, that has uh, helped support sorghum prices here in the U.S., but uh, uh, just tells us that uh, China it needs feed, and uh, they're, they'll change uh, rations as they need in order to, uh, to meet that demand. In the livestock, uh, cutout values in beef was down again yesterday, down 90 cents in, so in the choice, 133 in the select. The uh, pork cutout values were up 45 cents at the close of the day yesterday. Uh, hog futures continued to uh, work higher. The difference between the, the uh, futures and the uh, CME hog index continues to narrow. Uh, tight hog supplies uh, for the moment uh, due to the heat, due to uh, the uh, health issues that uh, have circulated in the hog industry over the last several months is causing uh, some tightness of supplies right now when demand is a little better because we are seeing retailers restock their shelves, get ready for the uh, promotional uh, pork month uh, during the month of October. In the cattle trade, the cash market's expected to be somewhere in the 122 to 123 this week. That would put us uh, at a steady to maybe a little lower price. Tight cattle supplies uh, help support the uh, the cattle market, but packers seem to have uh, quite a few contract cattle around them, and uh, they're not uh, not been very aggressive uh, coming after cattle at this point in time. So, uh, look for uh, some choppy trade here. Uh, volume has uh, decreased uh, in the grains, especially. Uh, expect. Uh, some more evening of positions as we go into the uh, USDA report on uh, Thursday morning, and that will be released at 11 o'clock. So if you got any questions, give us a call at 800-262-7538. And I just want to remind anybody, if uh, they're up at the Big Iron Show in Fargo, I'm headed up that way uh, this afternoon, be there uh, Thursday for uh, uh, an interview with the uh, Red v River Valley uh, Farm Network. So. Uh, hope to see you there. Wish everybody a successful uh, trading day, a safe uh, week, and uh, I'll be back on Monday. Steve will be with you tomorrow.